The Discovery Center at Rocky Reach Dam reopens August 25th, and it won't be the same facility you visited last time. The museum shut down in November 2019 for a major upgrade, and now it's got a new focus on education, including the science behind Columbia River hydropower. Some of the spaces we didn't change, some of the spaces changed quite a bit. The Discovery Center was originally built in 1962, with a new Discovery Center, the long-running Museum of the Columbia, is no more. That large gallery inside the dam powerhouse closed permanently in 2019, with many of its historic exhibits finding new homes in the Discovery Center, and others at the Wenatchee Valley Museum and Cultural Center. New and restored exhibits touch on the Native American history of the Columbia. Moving an antique native canoe from the old museum to the new one proved one of the most challenging aspects. It was pretty nerve-wracking. They got it off the truck and they had to swing over the four-bay wall. So it's sitting vertically because it needs to be picked in the middle so they could get it down in the hole. And this thing is, you can imagine this box that's 20 something feet long by three by three feet wide, hanging vertically over an 80 foot drop. And it's just like, oh, please, <laughs> don't hope oh, that rigging's good. <laughs> Visitors also will no longer be able to walk across the dam and visit the powerhouse without joining a guided tour. For security and safety reasons, we were we also wanted to eliminate the public access across the four bay deck and just unescorted access into our powerhouse. A new patio deck offers improved views of the dam and spillway, but the dam's most popular attraction has to be the fish ladder, which allows migratory fish to reach their critical spawning grounds upriver. The window view has been widened and thickened, allowing better views for children and guests using wheelchairs. Debbie Gallagher has been visitor services manager at Rocky Reach for 19 years, and she'll retire later this year after 42 years with the PUD. She says she thinks the planned reopening should draw a crowd, even with COVID-19 restrictions. People, we've been closed for two years, so people are excited about this, and I mean, they're very excited about the Discovery Center. They. They remember what it was all these years since 1962, and I think they're just really excited. The Discovery Center reopens with a ribbon cutting at 9 a.m. August 25th and a reservation-only visitor event August 28th. And unlike in past years, it'll stay open year-round, Tuesdays through Saturdays, with expanded visiting hours. Admission is always free. Jefferson Robbins, NCW Life.